Let's build a local first AI chat in Python using Olama, the DeepSeek R1 model, and Streamlit. You can think of the local AI chat as an offline version of Grok or DeepSeek chat. So we are going to use R1 as the underlying model and run the model locally using Olama. The front end of the application will be a simple input box and that will be created using Streamlit. First, we should perform all these required installations. I have already done all these installations. So let's go to Kesa and build our local AI chat. Over here, you have noticed I have added all these imports. Streamlit for the UI. We have Olama to use the model locally and time for streaming the text while the model is generating the output. The stream data function you see here will be used for streaming the response from the model. Next, we create an input field to capture the user's prompt. Next, we have chat history management and prompt handling. So when a user enters a prompt, we add the user's message to the chat and display the input in the chat interface. The next part of the code handles the response generation. We show a spinner while the model is generating the response. And over here you have seen we have show time to true. That will display an animated timer of the response generation duration. So over here, we create a response and set the model we want to use. Next, over here, we have a streaming response and a fallback for non-streaming. Lastly, we update the UI with the final response and append it to the chat history. Let's bring the terminal with command and backtick and run the file. We should run it with streamlit run followed by the file name that is local deepseek r1 streamlit.py. So you have seen over here, our local streamlit interface is running on the local host at port 8501. And at the bottom of the page, we have an input field to enter any prompt. Let's create a Swift UI drawing app using the pencil kit framework from Apple. We also want the model to show the complete code. So let's send it. We have a thinking animation. We have the streaming animation and rotating spinner. Also, we have the animated count up timer for the duration of the output generation. Since this is a thinking model, you have noticed here that has taken more than a minute. So let's wait for a moment before we get the final result. So this is how to create a local first AI chat application in Python using Streamlit, Olama, and DeepSeek R1. You noticed using Streamlit, we got out of the box a streaming animation as well as an animated timer and spanner while the model is generating the response.